there are a few other video games that have invaded pop culture vernacular like NBA Jam. From downtown! The phrase, he's on fire, is used to describe anything from an athlete having a great game he is on fire! to an executive stringing together a set of lucrative deals. It has completely transcended video games. No hoop for you! Unfortunately, time hasn't been as kind to the franchise itself. But after a long string of uninspired sequels and a hiatus, NBA Jam is back and on the Wii. Does this old jock still have game? Should it have stayed on the bench? On the playground, he'd be called a chucker for that shot. Back when NBA Jam was in its heyday, sports games were lucky to have a season mode, let alone a franchise option or all the other bells and whistles we've grown accustomed to. While you get more than just a ladder of teams to face off against this time, the extras don't amount to much. Playing against the computer in the series has never been much fun, but get a group of friends together and things quickly get jumping. The same holds true here. With four-player local multiplayer, you're set, provided you have friends or family members who enjoy FaceTime. If not, you're in a bad spot because the Wii version of NBA Jam does not have online play. For a franchise that's built on head-to-head, -head, this is a huge omission. It should also be noted that the 360 and PS3 versions that launch later this year include it. Thank you, but not today! In its place, EA has included the Remix Tour mode. This Wii exclusive option is you playing against the computer in a handful of different game types. Two versus two includes power-ups that will affect your player's size, strength, and speed, domination as you try to knock down shots from specific spots on the court, elimination is like cutthroat with the lowest scoring player eliminated at predetermined intervals, and so forth. The developers have found some interesting ways to mix things up, but as you battle each NBA team several times over, they start to wear a little thin. If there's one option that holds water, it's the boss battles with some of the NBA's biggest stars. NBA Jam includes current NBA players and teams, though not the entire squad. You generally have three to four current players from each organization available to field your two-man team, along with a couple legends from the franchise's past. If a team has very little history, the mascot has been included as a sad consolation. In-game achievements called Jam Challenges round out the package. There are 58 different in-game objectives to complete, like catching fire a certain number of times. Complete them, and you'll unlock new players and options. You also get the traditional ladder of teams to topple, but it wasn't compelling over a decade ago, and it's not now. While the new NBA Jam is certainly more robust than the old games, the lack of online play in exchange for the Remix Tour isn't a fair trade. When compared to most modern sports games, it comes up short, and at the full price of $50, it's a tough sell. Come on! <laughs> If you've ever played NBA Jam before, then you know what to expect from the gameplay here. Realism is not its forte, and that's why people loved it. Spectacular! If EA is hoping that the past tense turns to the present tense, it's not because it's made sweeping changes to the formula. You still get the same two-on-two -two games, make three baskets in a row with the same player and he's set ablaze and can practically score block shots at will. You can still push opponents to the court, steal the ball, and get ridiculous amounts of hang time. Iguodala. Oh my! The tweaks are fairly minimal. Once knocked down, you can pass to a teammate, you can perform crossover dribbles, or throw some bows to clear out some space. As a Wii game, NBA Jam keeps the motion controls in check, but they're effective nonetheless. You thrust the Wii remote up to jump or initiate a shot, and then shove it back to follow through in a jumper or slam it down. It takes some getting used to, but it's incredibly responsive and surprisingly gratifying. You can also turn the Wii remote on its side and ditch the nunchuck for movement, but then the turbo button is awkward to use. For those who resist change, the classic controller is the best bet. NBA Jam practically invented the phrase rubber band AI, and it's in full force here. Gain a big lead, and the computer will start shoving you to the floor, sinking impossible shots, and dunking through your blocks. There's very little you can do about it. Double team! While the fundamentals are well handled, there are definitely some quirks. The computer is absolutely dumbfounded by crossover dribbles. They can be abused over and over again. Blue Bayou. In the game modes where there are power-ups littered on the court, the computer will pick most of them up before they're even visible on the screen. Even when you do spot them, the depth perception is hard to manage. And like prior games in the series, playing head-to-head -head can quickly turn into a series of blocks and shoves. And he can't hold on to the ball! These minor issues aside, NBA Jam plays a great game of... well, NBA Jam, with motion controls providing an extra layer of emphasis. When played against humans, it's back and forth and completely unpredictable. If only games against the computer were as compelling. I believe your ankles need an X-ray, sir. Come on! Good ball movement there. Posterize! In the face! Lock, you can take this ball and shove it! At first glance, NBA Jam may look like a fossil with its clip art heads and cel-shaded visuals, but look a little closer and it actually has a lot of charm. 
The stills chosen for each player can be downright hilarious, even if the game could use a few more of them. The animation is so convincing that some of the outlandish dunks almost appear possible. And most importantly, it runs at a steady rate no matter the action on screen. It's not going to win any technical achievement awards, but it manages to veer close to the original while blazing its own visual path. Dominated. There isn't much music to speak of, but Tim Kitzrow returns to reprise his role as play-by-play -play man turned wisecracker. Sweet potato casserole shooting! Unlike a lot of video game voiceover, his lines are actually funny. You just got a mouthful of what? And feature a nice mix of the classics and brand new quips. He brought the boom, but not a lot of shaka. Takes off! Here's the peanut butter! How about the jam? Get that stuff out of here! Did you see that? Your enjoyment of NBA Jam will be directly proportional to how you want to play it. As a solo experience, it can come off as repetitive and robotic. With the fancy pants move! When played against friends, it's an absolute riot. But this series has been this way for over a decade, and forking over 50 bucks for something you can get for a few dollars at the bottom of a dusty used game bin is a lot to ask. They say that breaking up is hard to do, but boy, it's a whole lot of fun. The lack of online play hurts, and after spending several days with it, we're left wondering if it would be better served as a downloadable game at a discount price. The goaltending seal has spoken. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs>